का एक बाल बुलंद हो जापना ही इज तुलसीदास सो यू आर दैट फेम मेराकल सेंट whose popularity has allured so many muslims and hindus of my kingdom i am no miracle saint i am only an insignificant servant of lord ram you do not know the etiquette of mogal court room everyone who enters here has to first bow down respectfully to the king for me ram is my king and bhakti is my wealth If he comes before me, my head will automatically bow down. So my soldiers said correctly. You don't accept me as king, huh? You are king of this kingdom here, but the throne on which you sit now, someone else used to sit in the past, and in the future, someone else will sit on it. But my head bows down to him who sits on the throne of my heart, who is Ananta. a janma lord of all the three worlds my prabhu lord shri ram in fact you too should bow down your head to that king throw this pretender into the prison he needs flogging to straighten his arrogance let me see how this ram comes and save you from my punishment <laughs> Lord Ram does not need to come for my protection. Simply the remembrance of Lord Ram's devotee will be enough. Jai Shri Ram. Hukm ki tamil ho. Shri Guru Charan Saraj Raj Nij Man Mukur Sudha. रघुबर विमल जसु जो दायक फल चारी बुद्धिहीन तनु जानी के सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या देहु मोहि हर हु कले तुलसीदास फ्री तुम रक्षक दिस हिस्टोरिक इवेंट मार्क्स द बर्थ ऑफ द पॉपुलर क्लासिक द हनुमान चालीसा कंपोज बाय द ग्रेट सेंट्री बॉय तुलसीदास about something can i know what thought brings such beautiful effulgent smile on your face my dear parvati my worshipable lord vishnu will soon incarnate as shri ram to annihilate the sinful demon ravan accompanied by demigods who will appear as vanars 
I also desire to appear as a vanar. Vanar? Why vanar, my lord? <laughs> Bhuvneshwari, you know my eagerness to seize any opportunity to serve my lord. My lord is appearing this time in a human form, and a human being may be hesitant to engage another human in menial service. But a monkey, <laughs> a monkey's service may be accepted without any hesitation. That's wonderful, Swami. However, since I want to remain focused on my service and not be distracted by anything, I would prefer to remain celibate in this role. You are Shakti Man, and I am your Shakti. We are inseparable, my lord. Hearing that I cannot accompany you in your service is giving me immense pain. Oh, Tribhuvanath, please, I want to be with you. I think, I think I know how to resolve this dilemma. You will be a powerful monkey, and I will be your tail. And does add to your formidable strength. This sounds perfect, and we both together can make a contribution to Sri Ram's Leela. But I have a doubt. How can you offer so many boons to Ravan on one hand, acting as his well-wisher, and also plot his annihilation on the other? Although Ravan has managed to please my ten Rudra avatars by offering his ten heads in sacrifice. He has dissatisfied and angered my eleventh Rudra avatar. My eleventh avatar will now incarnate on Earth as son of Anjana and Kesari, and will be known throughout the world as Hanuman, the combined form of Shiv and Shakti together. My dear runners, up to few hours ago, the dark clouds of despair and hopelessness had engulfed all of us. In order to spare ourselves from the wrath of our king Sugriv and the painful embarrassment of informing Sri Ram that we did not find Sita, we all had prepared to fast unto death over here. However. However, the life-giving word of this great vulture Sampati has changed the course of our collective destiny. Jatayu gave up his life for preventing Sita from being lost, and Sampati regained his life by revealing to us where Sita is lost. Angad, you are our chosen leader. Now tell us, how do we proceed towards our mission? With his sharp, impeccable vision, Sampati has seen Mother Sita in the palace garden of the Rakshas King Ravan. Now the only thing that separates us from conveying the message of Sri Ram is this vast ocean of hundred yojan. Each one of you, Vanar, must bid your best jumping capacity. Uh, Gaj, uh, I can do no more than ten yojanas. Uh, uh, Gavaksh, I can do about twenty. What about you, Sharab? I can easily go up to thirty. Hmm. Mind easily sixty. Good. Tivida, I will reach seventy. Uh, you, Shushain, I can attempt eighty. <laughs> Back in the days of my youth, I could encircle the gigantic lotus feet of Lord Three Vikrama as it grew to cover the upper planetary system and crack the universal layer. But now it's all a past glory. Right now, our only need is to identify a hero amongst ourselves. Who can cross the entire hundred yojana long ocean and reach Lanka to give Ram's message of hope to Sita? I could cover the entire stretch of hundred yojana myself alone. But, but I am not confident. 
that I will be able to return having resisted the dazzling allurements that my vulnerable senses will have to encounter in Lanka. <laughs> but where is Hanuman? There he is. Hanuman? How are you so silent at such a crucial time? Please breathe life into our lifeless, hopeless souls. Rise, Hanuman, rise. This vast ocean is just a puddle for you. You are the only person amongst us who could accomplish this impossible expedition with ease. The boundless expanse of the ocean makes me feel even smaller than I am, Jamwan. This mission is huge. I can only run some small errands for Maharaj Sugriv. I don't think I am the right person capable of this mammoth task. Hanuman, please listen to this. Thick clouds of oblivion created by the sages in your childhood have marred your memory about your true potential. At that time, being blessed with diverse strengths, abilities and unlimited celestial powers given to you by the demigod, you had no idea how to use it constructively. And you were misusing it, causing others harm. The sages cursed you to forget all your powers until you are reminded of them by someone. Remember, power and responsibility go hand in hand. Now, as you stand on the shores of responsibility, your powers are bound to return. Get up, Hanuman, and take the leap across the ocean. Arise, O hero! Arise! Our dispirited army needs your show of prowess to regain their demoralized enthusiasm and inspiration. Come on, Hanuman! You can do it! Come on! You can do it! Hanuman! Come on, Hanuman! Yes! Jamwan! Yes! I am the son of Wind God and equal to him in strength and speed! I am unstoppable! I can do it! I can dry up the oceans and uproot Lanka and bring it to Sri Ram! Now nothing and no one can thwart the determination of Hanuman in his service to Sri Ram's mission! Jai Shri Ram! Jai Ram! Thus, the superhero was born again. A new saga in his life was about to begin. A saga comparable to none in the past, Jai Jai Ram, present, Sita Ram, or future. Jai Jai Ram, Sita Ram, 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 Jai Jai Ram, Sita Ram. My mission for Sri Ram supersedes personal comforts, Mainak. I am, however, grateful for the beautiful offer. Shri Ram. Surasa, oh great mother of the snakes, I am carrying a very important message of Sri Ram to deliver to mother Sita and promise to be your meal on the return journey. What has 
happened. I'm stuck in the mid air as if held by some unseen powerful force. Simhika, that dangerous sea monster, she's a shadow grabber. Vayu Putra Shri Rama Bhakta Mahavira Shauri Van Hanuman. Vayu Putra Shri Rama Bhakta Mahavira Shauri Van Hanuman. Vayu Putra Shri Rama Bhakta Mahavira Shauri Van Hanuman. Vayu Putra Shri Rama Bhakta Mahavira Shauri Van Hanuman. Hmm, Lanka at last. Hmm. Stop! Oh, Wanara! I am Lankini, the guardian and presiding deity of Lanka. <laughs> Nothing and no one can enter in Lanka without my sanction or Ravana's will. <laughs> I just came here having heard of the luscious fruits which we forest dwellers always hanker for. I mean no harm to anyone. Rest assured. Get out at once if you love your life, oh Warner, or else I have to use my. Brutal fools! <laughs> mm. Looks like you haven't experienced a Vana's determination as yet. Take this! <laughs> you are asking for it. I have been waiting for this day. It marks my freedom from a destiny that Brahma could with. He said that the day a Vanar punches you will also mark the beginning of the end of entire Raksas race. You may now enter Lanka, O Vanar. Lanka truly minimizes even the beauty of heavens mm. and boasts of an impenetrable security system. Is this Sita? But how can she be in Ravan's bedroom? No, no, this is not Sita. I have owned almost the entire Lanka and all my efforts so far have been futile. This frail, emaciated lady constantly crying, yet with a regal divine glow, she appears to be the mother of the universe. Looks like someone very important is coming this way. Let me jump into a tree and hide myself. Sadha! Lanka Vipati! Tilag Vijayi! Lankeshwar Ram! Padhar Rahe! My dear Sita, your seemingly endless and sorrowful captivity is only till such time you accept my hand with your bewitching smile on your moonlight face. Oh Sita, you will save your ebbing youth and enjoy life to the fullest as Dashanan's principal queen. 
I will relinquish all my wives and throw the entire world at your feet. Why do you vainly boast of gaining control of the entire world when you have kidnapped me in the absence of my ram? Like a petty thief who robs the house when the owner is away. This is not rakshasa bravery but dog like cowardice towards two tiger amongst men. Shri Ram and Lakshman whose mere twang of the bow can crack the entire universe and whose arrows are more fearsome than Indra's thunderbolt Sita oh most beautiful one you should know that in abducting you i have acted in accordance with the rakshasa codes of dharma but having brought you here now in lanka i will not touch you forcibly against your will Even if you had a fraction of intelligence in comparison to your beauty you would not hang your hopes on a beggar like Ram a mere human who was utterly powerless to save even his own kingdom slipping right from his hands and wander barefoot in the wilderness just think again Sita what is Ram in comparison to the power of Ravana's invincible strength unlimited wealth and universal fame i control all the gods indra surya chandra agni who live in the fear of the mere movement of my eyebrows eko aham dutiya nasti na bhuto na bhavishyati you fool do not mistake me to be a helpless woman under your captive subjugation i am fire and if i desire i can burn you to ashes with my ascetic purity you can never separate me from my ram just as light can never be separated from the fiery sun if you are dear to your foolish stubbornness then i will have your limbs cooked for breakfast as a delicacy You better submit to my proposal <laughs> and save your life or risk your own disposal <laughs> rather than holding my hand I urge you to accept Sri Ram's hand in friendship and seek his grace and forgiveness <laughs> for the mountains of sins that you have shamelessly performed <laughs> and if not I warn you I warn you of mass destruction of your entire rakshasa race. <laughs> But sadly, there is no one in this Lanka who can drive some sense into your dull brains. Enough of your nonsense. Stop Lankesh. It is below your stature to beseech a human lady when you can be happy with hundreds of celestial women who are forever at your beck and call. From now on escalate your torture using any and every method till she succumbs to my desire This is no time for all this nonsense. I just had a dream unfolding the imminent catastrophic disaster of Lanka. Stop harassing Sita and fear for your own lives. Now all of you just leave from here and leave Sita to her fate. My dear Sita, do not worry. Your husband Sri Ram will soon come and rescue you from here. Oh my dear Ram When will you come When will you come and save your Sita before she drowns in the ocean of love and separation from you Oh Ram Shri Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Ram Shri Ram 
श्री राम जय जय राम रघुपुल में दशरथ आंगन में चंद्रमुखी श्री राम थे जन्मे हर्षित उल्लासित थे दिशाएं दीप अवध प्रज्वल घर घर में शिव धनुष की प्रत्यंचा चढ़ाई जीता स्वयं वर जान की पाई पित्र वचन है तू चले वन को प्राण जाए वर वचन न जाए पंचवटी बसे बद कर डाले घर दूषण और ताड़ का दुष्टा शोक राम को विधि ने लेखी रावण ने हर ली बैदे ही किश्किंधा सुग्रीव मिले तब राम की ये वधवाली अधर्मी राम दूत बन कर एक वानर लंका पहुंचा लांग के सागर चहू दिशा मा जान की खोजी दर्श दिए माता अब जाकर राम श्री राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय श्री राम Who are you, Anand? Stop! Stop right there! You are Ravan, aren't you? You cannot fool me with your vanar disguise. I will never succumb to your evil intentions, even if you keep trying till the end of creation. Mother, I am Hanuman, a messenger of my master Shri Ram. Shri Ram. I will only believe if you can describe the form of my husband Shri Ram. My Lord Shri Ram is as radiant as the sun, refreshing as the moon. That divine emerald green golden tinged body mesmerizes even the god of love. Beautiful eyes like lotus petal. broad chest and thin waist like that of a lion long arms his grandeur is like kuber his prowess is akin to vishnu and his eloquent speech surpasses brahaspati oh mother my finite intelligence cannot describe his infinite greatness for ram is dharma personified oh, oh best among swaners You are reviving my dying desire to live by your nectarian words. <laughs> my heart, my heart yearns to hear more from you. <laughs> oh divine mother, do you remember throwing the bundle of jewelry while being abducted? Yes. That bundle landed near Sugriv on the Rishamukh mountain. Sugriv then joined hands in friendship with Sri Ram. who helped him vanquish his tyrannical brother wali search parties were then sent in all four directions looking for you mother <sighs> and now leaving all my wander friends on the other side i managed to jump across this vast southern ocean only by the mercy of shri ram really <laughs> then tell me hanuman tell me how is my lord ram Does he remember me? Remember, Ram, in bereaved separation from you, has shriveled up and lost his luster. He incessantly cries, being tormented by your memories. <laughs> oh, Anuman, your words are like nectar mixed with poison to me. While I'm happy to hear about Ram, I am sad to know about his crestfallen state. Oh, mother, Shri Ram has sent this ring as a solemn proof that I am his messenger. This ring, I have been wearing this ring embossed by Shri Ram's name since the day of our marriage, Hanuman. <laughs> Till I gave it to Shri Ram. as fair to be given to kevat for ferrying us across the sharyu since the boatman refused to accept the ring ram ram never returned it back to me and kept it to himself 
perhaps perhaps for this day hanuman hanuman you must be the most special amongst all the vanara clan for shri ram to have chosen you to perform this herculean task of crossing the wide ocean for me kings always send their most insignificant warriors as messengers to the enemy camp please know that everyone in the vanar army is either equal to or better than me my dear son please inform shri ram that ravan had given me one year to succumb to his desires of which 10 months have already passed and now and now if he does not rescue me in a span of one month then i will be left with no option but to end my life anuman mother to end my life mother please please mother <laughs> Oh Hanuman your association for a few moments has watered my parched up heart with hope and happiness I bless you Hanuman I bless you that Shri Ram may always love you Now go my son Asht siddhi no nidhi ke da Jai Shri Ram Asbar din jaan ki mata राम रसायन तुम्हारे पास सदा रहो रघुपति दास पिताश्री This is that rascal monkey, the cause of chaos and destruction in the peaceful life of Lanka. You nonsense monkey! You have converted my favorite Ashok Watika into a graveyard. Why have you destroyed my personal property by stealthily sneaking into my kingdom? Just like you stealthily came, like an ordinary thief, and stole Mother Sita when the owner was away. And why did you kill thousands of my soldiers? including the great jambumali and my undefeatable son akshay kumar it is they who attack me first and self defense is absolutely as per the code of dharma nonsense did you not consider that you are invoking the wrath of the mighty ravan who is feared by yamraj himself of course of course the talks of your glory are being sung in all the three worlds You are the same Ravan who was easily defeated by the thousand armed Karthi Virya Arjun, right? You are the same Ravan who Wali effortlessly carried in his armpit while you were begging for mercy. He speaks too much. You lowborn monkey, who are you and who sent you here? Know me to be Ram's Das, servant of Lord Ram, and know me as Ram Dut, the messenger of Ram. My name is Hanuman an ordinary monkey in the vast army of countless monkeys led by Sugriv Now let me tell you about the valor of Sri Ram Wali's mountainous chest was an easy target for one single arrow from Sri Ram's infallible bow which killed all 14000 soldiers headed by Khar and Dushan within no time Ravan your single sinful act of kidnapping Sita has now made you a target for Ram's infallible fiery arrows which can dry up the oceans crack the universe and even dampen Indra's thunderbolt what foolishness you are scaring Lankesh with the prowess of a mere human who is a homeless barefooted forest dweller Then let me remind you Ravan that your boons offer you no immunity from humans and monkeys. Ravan, your lust saturated brains have no idea that the illusion of helpless captivity of Sita is only until she invokes her combined fire of personal purity and spotless chastity which will turn your entire Lanka into a heap of ashes. Vana! 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 
Listen, O Ravan, to my good counsel, for I speak as your well-wisher. The heinous act of abducting someone else's wife is against the code of dharma and punishable by upholders of righteousness as Sri Ram. Your one sinful act of kidnapping Sita has destroyed your mountains of meritorious tapasya, which has earned you the extravagant life you live in Lanka now. Return back Sita with honor and seek forgiveness from Sri Ram to continue your life of sovereignty. However, if you choose to remain enslaved by lust and arrogance, then be prepared for a mass destruction of yourself with your entire Rakshas dynasty. Kill this audacious monkey immediately! Kill him! Wait, Maharaj! We cannot do this to a messenger. Lankesh, even though this messenger has done much harm in Lanka and has spoken provocatively, yet as a Vedic scholar, you know that the courts of statesmanship forbid us from killing a messenger. Rather than killing him, when Ram and Sugriv attack with their forces, you can kill them and emerge victorious as the greatest warrior alive. For now, you may mutilate him, disfigure him, whip him, but we can never kill him. Every person revels in some self-glory, considering it precious. There is nothing more dear to a monkey than his stupid tail. Prahasta! Set his tail on fire and parade him in procession through the streets of Lanka. His agonizing screams will soothe the pains of the bereaved Lankan citizens. Jai Shri Ram! Like the southern search party, headed by Angad, has returned. Yes, Sri Ram. Yes, Sri Ram. Yuvraj Angad ki. Jai. Yuvraj Angad ki. Jai. Maharaj Sukhdev ki. Jai. My Lord, we all were frantically searching every mountain, every cave, but somehow we lost our way. And and then Swayam Prabha rescued us all and brought us to the southern seashore. And since no one could cross the vast ocean. Hanuman, the brave and powerful one, ventured all alone, and there he found the golden city of Lanka, and burnt it down to ashes with his flaming tail. Yay! Yay! Is Sita alive? Mother Sita is constantly burning in the fire of separation from you, my lord. Her constant chanting of your divine names. and your loving memories are the only reason her soul has not yet departed from her body where is my sita hanuman where is she she is sitting under a simshupa tree at ashok watika in lanka my lord which is an island right in the middle of the southern ocean her searching eyes are yearning impatiently for a glimpse of you for the last 10 long months Mother Sita has sent this chura money for you. Sita. Sita. Oh Sita. The love and sacrifice you have offered in my service is overwhelming my heart with love and gratitude for you. Even in the entire lifetime of Brahma, with all that I have I can never repay you Hanuman All I can give you is my embrace Hanuman Through this 
I am giving my very self to you. Fierce battle then ensued between the highly organized Rakshasa army, equipped with sophisticated weapons against the fearless monkey forces, who fought with trees, rocks, claws, and their love for Sri Ram. With the end of his commander in chief Rahasta, Ravan now sent the giant Kumbhakarna whose colossal body crushed thousands of monkeys under his gigantic feet as he lunged forward, gobbling several hundreds in his voluminous mouth. Sri Ram lopped off his huge arms, chopped his legs, and with a fiery arrow, sent his head flying to the entrance of Lanka. After the death of Trishira, Narantak, Devantak, and Atikai, the viciously formidable Indrajit, gifted with mystic siddhis awarded by the goddess Nikumbila, now engaged in gruesome combat with the dexterously powerful Lakshman, only to lose his head on the floor of Nikumbila. Glories to you, Lakshman. Having not slept a wink for 14 long years, only you had the power to vanquish the unconquerable Indrajit. Now this will certainly demoralize Ravan's enthusiasm to continue the war. Service to you, my dear brother, is the deepest satisfaction of my life. Even though what you say is true, my lord, Ravan still has a formidable warrior summoned by him from Pata Lok, the great Mahiravan. He is not only exceedingly powerful and intelligent, but also an expert mystic magician and can create instantly any illusion out of sorcery at will. Oh, really? I thought Ravan had exhausted all his resources. I suggest we make a well-protected fort by engaging our entire army and place Hanuman to guard its entrance. And I will personally patrol all around. Hanuman, be alert, be vigilant. Do not allow entry to anyone without my permission. Even if it is your own father. My dear Hanuman, I am Dashrat, the father of Ram and Lakshman. I would like to spend some time with them, having not seen them for over a decade. Pranams Maharaj Dashrat, you are welcome. But just wait till Vibhishan arrives. Hanuman, I am Bharat, the bereaved brother of Ram and Lakshman. Kindly wait for a while till Vibhishan returns. As you said, the master of mystic came disguised as Mother Kaushalya and Maharaj Janak also. But I did not permit them entry, Vibhishan. Very good. Be alert. Be vigilant. Hanuman, move aside. I want to double check the security of Ram and Lakshman. Don't let anyone inside until I come out. But I just let you in. 
How come you came out? Yes, you are the imposter, Vibhishan. I know how to deal with you, master of illusion. What are you saying, Hanuman? I am Vibhishan. It is I who informed you of Mahi Ravan. It is I who has revealed so many secrets of Ravan to thwart his plan. This is no time to doubt me. Alas, Hanuman, we have lost the two brothers. Look, this is the hole through which they have been kidnapped to Pata Loka. Hanuman, amongst all of us, only you can rescue our lords. No realm is inaccessible to you, Hanuman, and no challenges are insurmountable by you. Stop! Who are you to stop me in this way? I am the son of the powerful Hanuman. My name is Makar Dhwaj. What? How can you be Hanuman's son? He is a Nashtik Brahmachari. When Hanuman had burnt Lanka and then dipped his tail into the ocean, a drop of his sweat fell into the ocean, which was swallowed by my mother, a female crocodile. Then, my dear son, I am that same Hanuman. But I am now the guard of Mahiravan and cannot allow you to trespass without his sanction. So don't embarrass me in having to defeat my father in combat. Combat? <laughs> no one can stop me from serving Sri Ram, not even my own son. I accept defeat, O oh father. Now tell me, how can I serve you? Time is running out, Magar Dhwaj. Tell me, how can I find Mahiravan and kill him? You must meet Chitrasena, the Nakanya, held captive by Mahiravan. She has some rare secrets which will help you in your mission. Jai Shri Ram! Supreme Goddess, Oh Mahamaya, by your grace, I have received inconceivable mystic powers, making me unconquerable. <laughs> Over the years, this ceremonious axe has severed the heads of so many sacrificial animals. But today, <laughs> you will be most pleased to enjoy the flesh of two very special and powerful humans. <laughs> they are now under my spell in a deep mystical slumber. <laughs> As this axe chops off their heads, <laughs> Gush of blood will bathe our goddess, and we should serve this land of figures as delicacies for her pleasure. <laughs> Come on, bend your head on the sacrificial platform. Come on now, the murta is just perfect. <laughs> we are both princes of Ayodhya, and have never seen such a sacrifice. Can you actually show us how to do it rightly? What nonsense! Anyways... So this is the cave which Chitrasena mentioned. And I believe these are the five lamps which I have to blow simultaneously to cause the death of Mahiravan. But how will I put them off all at once?
unlimitedly frustrated with anger, the now forlorn Ravan still continued his lone battle with Sri Ram, who shot an infallible arrow in his chest, drawing up the nectar of immortality. And Ravan became history. When the same Lord Ram appeared in Kaliuga as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Hanuman also accompanied him as his close confidential associate. My dear Murari, please come here. One day, I told Murari, Krishna is famous as Rasika Shiromani, the king among the relishers of devotional mellows. So, from today, you must incessantly relish the holy names of Lord Krishna. However, the next day, he came to me asking for permission to end his life. For he had already sold his head to Lord Ram, and no matter how much he tried, he could not give up his service of chanting of Lord Ram's holy names. Sei Bhakta Danya, Jena Chadi Prabhura Charana, Sei Prabhu Danya, Jena Chadi Nija Jana. Murari, I was just testing you to reveal to the whole world your loyalty and chastity in the service of Lord Ram. This is not at all surprising, for you are none other than Hanuman. Jai Ho! Murari, I am most pleased with your devotional service. Please ask for a boon, Murari. You have given me everything, my lord. I want nothing. But I want to give you something, Murari. Oh, no, lord. Please I ask for a boon. If, if you insist, my lord, then please give me this boon that I may never forget you, my lord. I may never forget you. Every birth, I may always sing your glories. Oh Lord, please allow me to associate with your devotees who know that you are their master and they are your eternal servants. I happily grant you these boons, Murari. Namo. Anyone who thinks of Murari Gupta to be an ordinary doctor is most unfortunate. Lord Murari, who is non-different than Lord Ram, resides secretly in his heart. Gupta. Therefore, the name Murari Gupta is most appropriate. Murari is most appropriate. Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya. दर्शन पाके हैं अवतारी धन्य हुए हैं नैन पुजारी जीवन नैया तुमने तारी मंगल गवन अमंगल हारी निर्धन का तुम धन हो राघव तुम ही रामायण हो राघव सब दुख हरना अवध बिहारी मंगल भवन अमंगल हारी चरण की धूल ले लूँ मैं मेरे भगवान आए हैं बजाओ ढोल स्वागत में मेरे घर राम आए हैं लघुवंश नंदन महाराज श्री राम चंद्र की जय Blessed is this holy land of Ayodhya that your lotus feet have touched again. Our parched souls were seeking your divine presence and our thirsty hearts are now down in your mercy. May your ascent to this throne herald a new chapter 
in Vedic civilization. It will be remembered as Ram Raj. I am eternally indebted for your kind words and encouragement, Rishivar. I shall strive to serve the people of this great land of Ayodhya, following the footsteps of my father, Maharaj Dasharath, and my glorious ancestors of the great Ikshwaku dynasty. Their legacy is my duty. See, they. Today we are here due to the tireless efforts of so many people. My heart is overwhelmed with gratitude for all the devotees who helped us, guided us, and fought for us. Yes, my lord. Who can forget the sacrifices of great devotees like Jatayu, Vibhishan, and the entire Vanar Sena? <laughs> Why even a squirrel did not let its small size to stop it from serving you? And what to talk of my Bhakta Shiromani Hanuman, who went through so many hardships and troubles just for rescuing you, Sita? Indeed, Hanuman, I am eternally indebted to you for your extraordinary love and devotion. You are more dear to me, Hanuman, than my very life. Your unparalleled bhakti will give you eternal fame. My dear Ram, this insignificant servant is not worthy of so much praise from you. Out of my love for you, I want to give you something, Hanuman. Ask something of me. My only joy and desire in life is to serve you by being a speck of dust at your divine lotus feet, my lord. I have no other desire. This necklace made of priceless pearls is closest to me because you had gifted it to me my lord and now i wish to gift it to our dear hanuman hanuman what are you doing what is the meaning of this this respectful behavior of yours in destroying such a royal gift please excuse me but i am just trying to examine in each pearl if my dear ram is there in it if shri ram is not present it is of no value to me there are many objects in this world which may not have shri ram in it are they worthless your body may not have shri ram in it hanuman is it worthless Ram is present in my every breath. Ram is present in every pore of my skin. Ram is present in every corner of my mind. And my beloved Ram is present in the very core of my heart. If you don't believe, let me show you. Ram has inundated my complete existence. संघारी रुद्रवतारी हनुमान जय हनुमान जय श्री राम 